So, I was doing research for a video about the French military, and consequently, I was coming up upon numerous, uh, interesting military designs. And I found one, and oh god, I just had to talk about it. So, dear viewer, let me set the scene. Oh, way down south in the land of traitors, rap. It is the height of the Civil War in America, and the South, oh, uh, let's just say. It's not looking good, bruv. It's not looking good. But, one man from Athens, Georgia, has a plan to fix that. John Gilland, a dentist, has a groundbreaking idea. So if this is a cannon... Hmm... Hmm... So his grand idea was to put a second barrel on a cannon to make it a double barrel cannon. Not because he wanted to chew quicker or fire more cannonballs at once, but he wanted to fire both cannonballs at the same time with a chain between them. When the balls separated, they would extend the chain and it would, in theory, King's men all in its path. Like a scythe through wheat, as the man himself put it. The strategic purpose for it was to prevent the Confederate army from getting outflanked, which I guess had been happening a lot. So, he raised $350 from the town to build his contraption. Hiring a small team, John got to work building his southern window waffa. Finally, after probably hours of blood, sweat, and tears, it was complete. The cannon was fired at a few upright poles to simulate a Union battle line. Now, it may surprise you to learn that a dentist really didn't know how to rifle a barrel, so the cannon missed completely and destroyed an acre of a neighbor's farm. It was once again fired at the poles. Believe it or not, it missed again, tearing up a nearby forest. If at least nothing else, the cannon would be an instrumental tool in Brazil's continued efforts to perform the biggest disappearing act in human history. Again, the poles are the target. The cannon was aimed, and John was not going to screw it up this time. The shot. Yeah, the chain broke in two. The first cannonball went wildly off course and slammed into a neighbor's chimney. The second 360 no scoped a cow. Yeah. So, for quite obvious reasons, John was not allowed to test fire the cannon again. But he still considered the previous test a success, somehow. We can only imagine the Russia level copium that he was taking to think that. He campaigned for the Confederates to adopt it, and the Confederates did actually consider the design, but figured that, as testing had proved, it would do more harm than good due to its practically random accuracy. So the Confederates rejected the design. This pissed John off. John would send angry letter after letter to the Confederate government at Richmond, which was apparently so annoying. It's time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? No more. That the Confederacy actually considered pretending to adopt the weapon just to shut John up. However, unfortunately for John, the weapon was doomed to insignificance. The cannon itself actually is still around today. It remains a monument in Athens. A symbol for arsonists everywhere, I'm sure. Anyway, longer videos are actually going to be coming out, and if you want to see those, give me the social validation I desperately crave by subscribing. Goodbye for now.